What up, y'all? Welcome back. We're gonna do... Uh, Tinker's Cube Draft. Experience Cube Draft with real players. In the Tinker's Cube, raw power isn't going to be enough to succeed. These cubes, these cards are interlocking parts that will do far more together than on their own. What are the right gears and widgets for your deck? If you combine the right pieces, you can create an incredible innovation. And, uh, the card pool's pretty large. I was a little discouraged at first, because I'm like... Yeah, there's some good, there's some stuff that's like, oh, just a 3-1 for 2. And like, oh, or is the alarm? Like, I don't know, run a unicorn. I'm like, oh, this isn't like a, a powerful cube. But, I assume the synergies will make up for it. So let's, let's cross our fin fingeals. It is because the sneaker websites were baroque. I'm so I'm so disappointed in you right now. This cube frustrated me. I tried several times and couldn't get better than two wins. I also hope I do better. Two wins is no bueno. Let's try again. All right, Carnifex Demon. Six six for six. Put two counters. It comes with two counters. Remove a counter. Put a counter on each other creature. That's good. Ugin's Conjurant is okay. Falcon Wrath Noble is real sweet. Oh my god, I almost thought we got two picks. I'm like, what are our two picks here? Wow, I've been drafting Supreme and Double Masters for far too much. Interesting. 30 seconds. Um, I feel like it's just Carnifex Demon at this point. Like, I mean, it's just a 4-4 that can kill things, so... Thank you! Oh, what up, two-way? Emil... Emilial? Emilial the Blessed? I don't... 4444, four, four, exile another creature you control, then return to the battlefield under its owner's control. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may pay one. If you do, put a 1 1 counter on it. If it's a unicorn, put two 1 1 counters on it. Is there a unicorn theme? Heartless Act is also good. Piper is also interesting. Standard B with the resub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. I kind of just want to take this guy. It's just a blinky dude. I mean, like, these are good picks to start off with, I guess. Gray Merchant. I have no idea what's happening right now. Huh. I don't know. I mean, like, based on my own personal experience, I feel like Gray Merchant's one of the strongest cards. So this mills you for four. Do you want some cube player? I mean, it's just, is it just Davriel here? I don't think it's Dragon Skull Summit. If one or more counters that we put on a creature you control, put that many plus one. So we're going in two different directions. This is a very counter centric. I feel like it's Conclave Mentor. Are we just going mono black? Evil. I'll side with whomever brews the best tea. I don't think it's Mentor. I don't want to give up on the other black cards. I don't think we're going to be playing a Mentor Emerald deck and a mono black Carnifex Demon deck.
Alistair Stone, what's up? Oh, Wostrider is nice. Back for more is interesting. Got a Grey Merchant back? Have a fight something? I think it's probably Wostrider. I think Wostrider is a stronger card. <clears throat> Gary on Friday! I fell into a burning ring of fire. I had a memory card up here and now I can't find it. Well, that's no good. Silver Smote Ghoul, Farika's Spawn, 3 4. Uh, it's a 5 6 if you escape it. Hmm. I think it's either Umbrella Rights or Farika's Spawn. I'm going to go with Farika's Spawn for now. I'm really concerned with where this uh, this tiny ass memory card went. Ooh, I found it. Good lord, it's they're so small, dude. Like it's 256 gigabytes, but it's like this, and I'm like, oh my god, I almost lost it. It's friggin' wild, dude. <clears throat> Um, I think I just go with Macabre Bolts. I mean, getting back like Grey Merchant Carnifex or Grey Merchant Woe seems pretty decent. Status statue's fine if we end up being green. I don't know if the uh, the first side alone is worth splashing, but uh, Ugin's conjurant seems fine. Actually, Clockwork Servant's pretty decent. It's a 2-3, but we're going to be definitely spending 3 black on it. And it draws us a card. Yeah, alright. I'm game. Did you get your haircut today? No. No, I did not. I have not gotten a haircut in like 3 weeks. Uh, Played your Sokka or Hateful Eidolon. Oh, steam vents came back? My goodness. Take Druid of the Cowl. Eh, take Brontodon. For each creature with a plus one, plus one counter. Man. So there is a counter theme here. Alright, so no black cards for that last few. Nocturnal Feeder. When it dies, each opponent loses two and you gain two. So it's a two on flyer for three. That drains them. Pretty sure it's just Orzhov Enforcer. <clears throat> I have a feeling this might come back. 
That pack was pretty unimpressive, though. Well, I do like an Entomber Exarch. Oracle of Moldias seems banging. Oh, man. That's wild. It's got to be better than Tumor Exarch, right? This guy's double black, though. I think we're staying the course, man. Sir Conrad's not bad. Whenever another creature dies, or a creature card is put into a grid from anywhere, deals one damage, and then we mill them. I mean, that 5-4, it's got to be better than... Maybe Overgrown Tomb comes back. Oh, creatures have Menace, a Mass, too. I mean, this is the only card that we could even consider playing here. here and it's still double monsters. black. Bastion of Remembrance, Village Rights. Treasure map seems great here. I'll take a treasure map. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Triome actually helps us cast the green cards if we want to do that. I don't really care about Sigiled Sword. Yeah, I'll actually take this. It's a way to cast Statue as well. Stab wound? Yeah, I'll take a stab wound. Ooh, I like a Brokos. I don't know how green we are, but if we can mill this guy, we can Brokos on the things, and there's nothing else in this pack we're going to be taking, so. The, the Nocturnal Feeder came back? And nothing in here. That's... Taking over, Grown Team. Village rights. Embodiment of Agonies. Zagoth Triumph. Two Triumphs that are black green, which is pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, I'm going to take that. 
Are they the J shoes? No, I wouldn't have to leave to go get the J shoes. There are only 300 pairs of those in existence. And I don't really care about those. Uh, five, six. I mean, this seems good, right? Actually, Multani's friggin' bananas, right? I'm gonna take the Multani. I think we're just gonna play a little heavier green here. I think it is time. Blade Juggler, Beanstalk Giant, Singer. I think we're going with Beanstalk Giant. Singer Vampire seems great, but... Thank you. Dev, what up, my dude? Thank you for the resub, buddy. I'm gonna take my one out because it hurts my butt. I don't think we're a veto deck, right? Like, how much? That's barely life gain. And that's practically it. I mean, Roar of the Worm is pretty cool if we're milling ourselves. I also like Yarok a lot. Fido does support himself, I guess. Yeah, I'll take Fido. I, I think it's the better card in the pack anyway, so we just kind of got lucky there. Call of the Death Dweller. I mean, we just don't have enough one drops to really make that worth anything. Four mana for a three-two at the beginning of combat. On your turn, each player mills three. Order of Midnight's good. Prophetic Prism is good. Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess we're taking a Dracu Seth. That's cool. I guess I should have been. I hate, I'm like looking up here because this is where everything's moving. Packs are going over here. But then I forget that the timer is actually at the bottom and it's just kind of sideswipes me sometimes. Take my money. Plus four, plus four? It's actually pretty good. My son was born. Oh, hold on, I got, four, I got 14, I got 14 seconds, 12 seconds. Um, I think I'm just taking Mantle. You're getting less time because they're getting built up on you? I don't... I mean, that doesn't really make sense. I should have the same amount of time for... For, like, I mean, the, the, I should have just normal amount of time. For packs. Unless that's what... Unless that's not what you're saying. Hmm. Thank you! Jimmy the Mole, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Uh, Grace Power in the Graveyard. Nah, I think it's just... Actually, let's say Chromatic Lantern, whatever. Oh, Singer Vampire came back? Deal. Roar of the Worm came back? Sure. Alright, let me see what just happened. Um, Take the Harpy, I guess. My son was born on Sunday. Draft the deck. All about babies and cute little things. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oral, congrats, buddy. Congrats on having a son. That's wild. Okay. This is 43 cards. Planning? No. Enforcer? Wow, I wish I had more 2 drops. Wait, I do have more 2 drops. 
I have Battlement and Druid of the Cowl. Village Rite's also fine. Davriel is cute. I don't know if I care about it. Clockwork Servant, probably not as likely to play that guy. Harpy, I don't care about. I don't think we're milling ourselves, even if they want us to do that. Uh, Grey Merchant, probably still fine. All of his other cards are also fine. Fine, fine. Fine, 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 fine. So this is 41. I kind of like... How could this proliferate for us? It doesn't seem that good. I mean, it's probably for the white, the white green deck. Definitely want Brokos in here. I definitely don't want Islands though. <laughs> I mean, we already have uh, Zagoth Triome. Actually, maybe one Island, right? That seems fine. And we have Chromatic Lantern and Treasure Map because Beanstalk Giant can get the one Island. So, hey Saru, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. So we're gonna add. Can I can I put better basic lands in here? So probably one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six seems fine. Maybe seven. Seven five. That's a seven five, good buddy. How many lands is that? I think, that's, I think that's 16, though. Yeah. So we need one more land and two cuts. I'm going to cut the Davriel. We don't really have a discard theme. I also don't know if Grey Merchant's good enough here. I think even if Grey Merchant just hits for two or three, like, it's still fine. Maybe we take a Roar of the Worm. Again, we don't really have a way to discard this. So, it's probably one more black source, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six green cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Yeah, I'm just gonna add one more swamp. I have no idea if this deck is any good whatsoever. Probably not. That's actually pretty sweet. What does this do? Let's find out. When the channel is the battlefield, look at the top three cards and you reveal a land, put it in your hand. So you get to maybe draw a land sometimes. Like if we can't if we can't activate Vito, I don't think having Vito down for one turn is that big of a deal. That was something. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, might as well get in there. I want to play Vito first because this guy just triggers next turn and then they take four, which is basically like giving it haste. Yep. 
That's very good. That's very hard to deal with. Wow. All right. Um. No, don't like that. And now they're three threes, because of course they are. Yep, this card's really strong. It's just a two-two. If your deck can't deal with a two-two, you shouldn't be playing. Okay, there's also an enchantment theme, I, I, I presume. No blocks. Yeah, getting two three threes every turn cycle is pretty unbeatable. I don't actually understand how that's a card. This guy got reach? Nope, just vigilance and trample. Okay. I mean, it's possible we win with Vito's activation next turn, actually. Don't you have the overlay that lets us hover over? I mean, I, I used to. I don't know if I still... I don't know if it's still enabled or not. That was a fun game. <laughs> Boy, can you imagine if we just go 0-2? <laughs> that would be phenomenal. Oh, how'd you lose? Well, they played one tender shoot dryad or whatever. Oh. Sounds good. No. I fell into a tender shoot dryad. Oh, homunculus. Homunculus, he was homunculus. It's to the tune of Mongoloid by Devo. Alright, if we get an untapped land, we just get to play Space Godzilla? <laughs> Fuck. What else do I want in Limited Man? I probably don't have time to play Stork. I do have to leave at 3, which is like an hour and 20 minutes from now. I mean, I'll trade with this. Could have also mutated onto this, but maybe I just want to cast 6-6 six, six, Fat Boy. And then we just got two creatures, right? But we may be able to get to it later. Cast him as a man. Exactly. Oh, alright. Well, that's cute. Huh. <laughs> Do we just put this on here now? I don't know. No, it's a human. We can't, right? We couldn't have done that. Don't be stupid.
There, let's sneeze. Look at the light. Dang it. Tender shrewd dry hands. <laughs> oh, it's way funnier than it has any right being. I got fat boys in different area code. Yeah, so there's multiple reasons I couldn't have mutated it. Come on. That's what I'm talking about here. This guy's one black, one black. So, before they go to seven, they left Roar on top. Wasn't that fascinating? Four, five, six, seven. Dang it. Crack, Ray Merchant puts them to one or it kills them next turn if they don't have an answer to this guy. I think they're dead. But then again, I don't know. They could be like Cyclonic Rift. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're gonna be at seven. We do got a floaty boy. Wow, another tender shoot dryad deck. Holy wow, that's amazing. Apparently everyone just has tender shoot dryads. It's so weird how many times I play against the same opponents with the not well the the, the opponents, consistent opponents with uh, consecutive opponents. I'm gonna get it right, with the same cards in their deck. I'm like it's a cube, dude. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mongo, we got one green, so you can. Okay. This can't block unless you have four more cards in hand. Okay, so you can block. That's that's a tragedy. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, can we do both now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And lethal. <laughs> Gray Merchant's hello card, guys. One down. At least it's not her turn one hex drinker. Yet. Yet. Oh yeah. Turn two treasure map into beanstalk? Yeah, I'll keep that. It's actually just Woost Rider here. No, it's Beanstalk Giant. For our one island. And then we can actually activate Treasure Map too. Good. 
gray merchant. I'm gonna bottom you, unfortunately. No! Oh my god! It just doesn't give you a time to do anything, dude. It's so frustrating sometimes. I mean, like, you have to do it before you act. Like, I activate this and I'm like, oh, I'd like to stop my upkeep. But then there's, like, no way to... I guess you can just, like, windmill slam control real quick to put on that full control. You're like... Just start, just start pressing it like you're trying to get into the BIOS. Have some bits. Appreciate you. Okay. Seems good. Oh, they're not fighting. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, keep that. Uh, I just don't think I need it. I mean, I'd rather have the swamp anyway. Draw. Three, four, five, six. No attacks. End turn. All right. Do they have mana to proliferate? One, two, three, four. Sure. I mean, that's a fine trade for me. Sir Conrad! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to play Conrad and Vito. Is that any good? We can just all play, must play Mantle on this guy. Keep up uh, village rights. creature blocks that creature doesn't untap i'm gonna no attack here so proliferate's actually not that great because now they just have rish car field of the dead is super interesting i don't know why they would put that in here because seven seven different lands and limited is even for a cube that's a bit much what is my initial reaction to set boosters i think they're great i talked about them all on freshly brewed the podcast i do with rob Oh boy. Oh dear. Hmm. I'll try to veto for a 4-5. Deal. I 
feel like we're doing okay here, surprisingly. And we have two cards, they have three cards. We also have Woe Strider and Macabre Waltz as a second card, so we can get back like Beanstalk and Vito, which is pretty good. Two wolves for Denora Horror. Also a fair trade. Yep, Maltani is good. So, Macabalts. Okay, we have no more, so you might as well just tap this. Get back Beanie and VD. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five. And we could play Sir Conrad. I think I just kind of want Vito out here because I think Vito with life link and uh, basically life life loss, I don't know what to call it. Oh, negate on top. Alright, that's good to know. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have access to 10 mana. Sure, so we can go, we can actually play this and activate. Hmm, that's pretty good. He's got reach. He's got vigilance too? No, just trample. Okay, he didn't attack last turn. Checks out. Well, he's got like, why does this stupid tree have reach? Like, why does he have, it doesn't even make any sense. So he takes, yeah, I'm just gonna pull up. Actually, Oh, they can, they're going to proliferate? Sure. Hmm. Yeah, no blocks. That's fine. So they're taking seven here by themselves, and then we can just mill them for one. So that seems good, right? That'll do, pig. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what happens. Sometimes you just run your, your singer vampire into their Multani. But it's okay, because it gains you four life and they lose four life. So, you know, that's cool.
Vampire did not die in vain. See, that's funny. Three, one, sure. I mean, unless they kill this. Still pretty sure we're just blocking. No? See what their hand is. Fateful end, three damage to any creature, Rimrock Knight, and Lava Serpent. Okay. Could have also taken their land, which is kind of interesting, but. Mm, that's a cool draw. Top decks are sweet. Is that a thing we can play? It sure is. Sure is. What am I missing? Three, four. What? Why is it? You're one land short? How am I? One, two. What's going on? This costs five, right? And I have one, two, three, four, five. This isn't the blue land! Ah! Okay. We figured it out. No attacks, because I'm not going to win this race against a Hellrider. Oh my god, I was like, why can't I do this? What am I missing? Um, yeah, I mean, they have Rimrock Knight, so... But I'm still not going to not block a Hellrider, so... Oh my god, what am I- oh my god, that's- I'm so stupid. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna take this last lava serpent you got. I guess I- I guess this guy's almost fine in the graveyard anyway, because it doesn't matter if- we can't cast it in our hand because we don't have blue anyway, so. Oh boy. You know what? I don't hate that. Five, six, seven. I think we can go to five here. I like that they activated that incorrectly. They're like, get your permanence. Oh, no blocks. Sure. I would have definitely attacked with these. Oh, wow. Oh, oh boy. doesn't get haste, right? No. Wow, we're going to be able to activate treasure map for the first time in this game. I'm very excited. Run away, steam can never come back. Run away on a chicken track. Whenever you cast, 
Well. So, let's get a second. Let's get a blue, actually. So now we have four. We're at six. Shadow Spear on this guy means we can't effectively block. So I'm going to say no attacks. Oh, we just win the game. Only at six? I'm really surprised, because I feel like they probably could have come back from that. What do I know? <clears throat> Runaway train never coming back. When adventure cards only show the casting cost of one side, like if you notice that Beanie said it was going to cost you six grand to look for a land. Oh, that's interesting. I did not notice that. These hands keep being just fine. Like, turn to your treasure map again. Oh, look, somebody's self-milling here. Got him. Mmm, being us. I'm so jealous of this dog. So jealous. Oh, uh, I don't think we're going to scry here because I do want to play Woe Strider. <laughs> End the turn. I can now turn gold into gems. Wow, that's pretty good. That's like alchemy. Roar of the worm in the yard, huh? Okay. Nothing else we care about, though. Eh, pass. No block, I'll take two here. That was unfortunate. Oh boy. Cool. Seven drop, six drop, seven drop. Sounds good. Is five? Four of the cards. Okay. One one trample. You got it. These guys are still very, very good and very hard to deal with. So 
So I actually kind of want to, I kind of want to escape this guy sooner rather than later so that I have fewer cards for them to return Lock Mirror Circuit with, but. It's one, two, three, four, thank you. There's still quite a few mana away from casting either of these. Well, one, one away from this and, um. I'm one card away from this. Hmm. Time to just play Enforcer. It's either Enforcer or Grey Merchant. I don't think Grey Merchant is great here. Well, they have Lockmere Serpent Mana now. One, two, three, four, five. Well, kind of wish that was just a land. Yep, I would have instantly done that as well. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Gary's only counting the number you have on board. It's it's not like if they kill Gary with the ability on the stack, like then you're only getting one, right? Like they're not like, Gary's not on the board right now, so they can't actually count devotion that's not on the board. Your devotion is one. Your devotion will not like just because it will be three when Gary's on the board doesn't mean it's three now. Like nor does it mean that like like Gary's just counting your other devotion. Antibody, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. I think Lockmere Serpent's fantastic. It's one of my favorite cards from that block, from that set. Yep. Guys, I think this is the end. Oh, good. Hey, back for more on the top so you can get back here. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so the reanimate deck is really, really strong. Don't have a way to deal with this, nor do I have a way to deal with the Lockmere Serpent in your hand, nor do I have a way to do it back for more, which gets back like a... Is it an 11-11? Cool. Of course it is. Alright, that's the end of that. Really... Really good times. Really good times. So is this 3-2? Okay, not exactly got our entry back, but... What did we get? 2,000 gold and three cards. And you can't actually enter unless you have 5,000 gold, I believe. What's happening right now? What was I waiting for? Wait, do I get another... Wait, what's happening? Oh, you get three losses. Hey, all right. For some reason, I thought it was two. Am I thinking the best of three? Guys, we're not dead. Oh, man. Antibody, I appreciate you, dude. Every time you guys take that survey and have to write me in, I really appreciate it. Oh, this hand's good. Oh, man. See, I don't play enough best of one. So I was like, three losses? I don't understand.
Let's see where this uh, dog cam is. Look at him. Look at how precious. God, Wallace is a friggin' saint. <laughs> we don't deserve that little gentleman. Man, I was like, oh, I guess we're done. Three, two. No, it turns out we get to keep rolling. Keep that train rolling. Scavenging ooze. Wild. Oh, this is nice, because next year we can go Beanstalk into Overgrown. I like it. This is Mirror Match. Black Green Treasure Map. Dep, 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 dep. So we can go Beanie Boy. Probably get our blue source here, right? Into Battle Mint. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn. So we could just play these two. I don't know if I'm all about Carnifex at even at this point. Kills our own guys, which is terrible. You got it. Three, two, draw a card. Sounds good. I'll block. Okay. They were like, no, you won't. I'll never let you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Please don't use both my black for that. Go. In the time. Oracle? Sounds good. Uh, I haven't written anything, but Rob and I just put out a new Freshly Brewed if you guys want to check that out. Also, if you guys want to subscribe to it, wherever podcasts are found, we'd appreciate that too. Stitcher, Apple, you name it. So special. That's oh, two attackers. Nothing? Alright, so you're going to draw Evolution Sage? Sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only have three black, which is the bottleneck here. Otherwise, we could go negative two, negative two on Carnifex. Or, you know, plus two, plus two. Activate it twice, you know what I'm saying? And kill their kill their whole board. Five, six, seven, eight, seven. Hmm. <laughs> Six, huh? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play this guy for negative one. Doesn't seem great. Guess we'll just play Bean Bean Boy. End of the turn. Guys, I can also give a plus one plus one and death touch, so. You probably don't want to mess with me.
Which is your top five Planeswalker cards? It's actually, that's a very difficult question to answer just off the top of my head. That's like a list, man. Who are you gonna hit? Double the number of counters. Man, they love doubling the number of counters on this guy. They kept Treasure Cove up. Sure. Find finality into status stature. Wow, this is just the uh, the Golgari theme deck, I guess. Macabre waltz. Interesting. Yeah, I think this is fine. Oko, GA, Solidity. Are those your top three, or are you saying the top three Planeswalkers of all time? Because I think your personal top three should probably be different than, like, the best three of all time. So they can eat one thing? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but the question was the most powerful, right? Like, that's not... Just taking this too? Is it because they're gonna wipe the board next turn? They just go to two? Fascinating. Okay, well that makes your find finality worse, but you're probably going to put the counters on this guy and then wipe the board. This is all very interesting. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Because this guy becomes a two, two. But then we get to unearth Freak of Spawn. Oh. Um. That seems game winning, right? Yeah, I'll keep that guy on top. Because if it doesn't win the game, then we can play Freak of Spawn and kill the scavenging use. But, like, you kind of have to keep back, right? Because this guy's humongous, right? Am I going crazy? Oh, I didn't know they had an extra mana up. I mean, we just trade here, right?
Well, they, we know they have status stature in hand, so that's not going to win the game. But if they want to kill Gary, we can Macaw Bolt and Gary again, so that's just fine. One, two, three, four, five. So if we hit a land, we again, we're actually in great shape here. By that, we, I mean, we just win the game. We did not win the game. Six. It's actually kind of annoying. I mean, they still have to deal with this. They're probably going to status stature this. We're going to discard Orzov because we want to get back our stupid guy. Terrible now. Scavenging use is really a pain in the ass. One, two, three, four, and they still have like three mana to, to eat all of our relevant cards in our graveyard. Wow, this is hilarious that this is hilarious that we have Macabre Waltz, which needs the graveyard, Woe Strider, which needs the graveyard, and Gray Merchant, which needs the graveyard. That's absolutely incredible. Sure. Incredibly frustrating. Yep. Make sure you eat that gray merchant. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, these two, I guess. It's a real scum or uh, scavenging is a real scumbag. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they turned our Macaw Bolts on and let us get back anything was pretty surprising. Wow. Four, five, six, seven. No attacks. I don't think dealing one damage is worth taking eight damage from scavenging use. So. Oh my god, we got an oops. Oh my god, they forgot about Death Touch? Wow. <laughs> wow, but then they get to draw a nine, so that's okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's okay, I just happen to have Momentous Fall in my hand, so I gain nine and draw nine. If one or more counters would be put on a creature twice that many counters to put on instead. Wow, that's insane. 
Well. 2-2. Two, two, yep, gains a form, sure. Didn't it feel like it was not much removal in black? Yes, I, I agree. I feel like as... I feel like I do not actually have that many black. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I, I think I'm okay with three for one in here. And then drop in a Maltani like it's hot. Maltani! Nothing to say, but I mean they have to they have six cards in their library. They have to win within six cards, and we have a bunch of big fat idiots. <sighs> I usually get an oops from my opponent when they think they made a mistake and they end up winning the game off that play a turn or two later. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, when you draw nine cards, though, it's pretty easy to, you know, what's it called? Recover? Is that the word I'm looking for? I turned the Deckmaster overlay on, so it should be there. What does this do? Fights a creature, sure. Are we fighting? What? Wait, why would you do this? Am I missing something? Okay. You got it. So return to lands, so return to Multani to the so five, six, seven, eight. Multani, Multani, nothing to say, but it's okay. And we're definitely just getting in there with this guy, because at this point, like two blockers is plenty. <whistles> oh, what up, Cat Bleepus? That's a Chimera, not a Cat Bleepus. What does this thing do? Okay, so these are just a bunch of escape nerds. This guy's a 10-10. Doesn't have trample though. Buddy. What do they got? Five cards? That's still so many cards. This is actually pretty problematic. Yeah, this is amazing. Seems good. I don't think we're fine at all. <laughs> like, what? Why? I, I don't... Yeah, I don't think so, man. Like, they just attack us next turn and we die. What? What is happening right now? Do they just want to escape it? Sure. So one or more counters we place twice that many counters. So it escapes with three. 
So it's going to be a 10 10. It's almost worth just taking four here. I mean, just give me a Vita off the top. Yeah, I'll just take four. Hmm. Well, not ideal. So if we go block, 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 we take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's, that's the end. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. They might not know that, though. This fall drawing nine is absolutely absurd. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're also gonna make a guy. Well, we're already in attacks, so end the turn. No, our, our, our veto's not an out because we were already in combat. They did not make a guy at the end of the turn, so that seems fine. Still think no blocks is correct. Okay, that's not terrible. Five, six, seven. We have seven mana. We're not gonna have enough mana to veto and activate. But the fact that they don't have trample on a lot of these guys is good. And this is what, turn three? Yeah, so that actually is decent here. We can block and then, because that actually prevents like, fuck, a thousand damage. Yep. So that time they remember. We might actually be dead now because Yep, I thought Song was the previous turn, or the, the following turn, rather, because why wouldn't it be? Yep, that's cool. I'm glad they drew nine cards off of their... doesn't matter. <laughs> We're like infinitely dead. Yep. I don't, it doesn't matter. Like who fucking cares if they trample? <laughs> be nice spending endless resources to do nothing like four for one yourself with this stupid enchantment <laughs> throw your scavenging news away because you don't realize the death touch and then still get rewarded because oh the one card you don't know about is momentous fall so i draw nine gain nine seems good all right so nevertheless still still a good old-fashioned 33 thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons let me know what you think of the uh tinkerer's cube 
and I'll see you guys next time.